Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon, depending where you are on this planet. Um, I promised I would be here. Today is Christmas Eve if you're watching this on the replay or watching on YouTube. Um, I promised I would be here live today to share a really wild story with you. So this is like literally me clocking in. And I'm going to tell you this story, and then I'm going to clock out. <laughs> or so I say, um, I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. Um, so good morning, you guys, or good afternoon. I'm so glad you're here. Let me know if you're here live or on the replay. And if you're watching you know, the replay, put in a comment that you're watching the replay or let me know. That way it keeps it bumped up and um, you know, it helps other viewers, whether you're in our group, your spiritual awakening community, or whether you're on my YouTube channel, um, this is so cool because so many of you guys actually find me from YouTube. It's like super crazy. So the more that you guys help me um, by leaving valuable comments or questions on these videos, the more that it helps other people out there, right? And I swear, Spirit uses the algorithm. You guys are going to love this story. It's a little bit long, um, but it's definitely worth it. And this is definitely why I do what I do and why I get super super geeky about what I do. Um, so, hey, good morning, Lisa. Thanks for letting me know you're here live. Um, and I see all you guys jumping on here. So, hey, Rachel. Hey, John. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Hillary. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Marietta. Um, you'll dig this story, too. Like, I know all you guys are going to dig this story. So, so what happened, and there's a lots of great takeaways in here and valuable information for you. Um, hey. So, what happened was... Um, Yesterday, I got a message from somebody I absolutely adore on my Instagram, um, and this is typically how it happens. Like, you guys will have a really crazy spiritual experience, and then you're like, holy fuck, who could help me? <laughs> you're like, who could help me? And then you think of me, and you message me, and then we end up working together, right? So, hey, Hillary. Uh, sometimes I can't spell my name either. She's like, I can't spell. Um so I got this message, and those of you guys that are watching my stories, whether you're on Instagram at Spiritual Awakening Babe, or you're following my business page or my personal page, Brandeline Johnson, you you notice that I shared a little bit of the screenshot of the the message that I got yesterday. But basically, it started out with, "Hey, hey, something crazy happened to me," and then I already instantly I'm like, "Oh, this is my jam. Okay, what's going on out there in this crazy spiritual world?" And she had said, um, and she has never taken any of my classes. Um, we're just like entrepreneur friends on Instagram. And um, she said, uh, I, I think I channeled. <laughs> she said, I think like spirit actually used my body. Um, the weirdest thing happened. She said, my grandparents came through. And then she said, my father's or my husband's ancestors came through she said but they were using my body and my voice she goes it was so weird my whole body got hot and she said and now i feel kind of strange today and i don't know what to do so instantly <laughs> she reached out to me because and then um then after that she had sent me a little voice clip so i sent her a little voice clip sharing what i'm going to share with you guys in case this ever happens to you uh, but then she sent me another voice clip and her actual voice had sounded almost raspy like she had a cold and she goes listen my voice isn't even normal well so here's the deal um and the story gets really really freaking crazy um so i'm sure this will leave you guys reeling with lots more questions which is fantastic um so um what happens when spirit uses our physical body and we did a training um in the alignment academy on this specifically because um in there you guys have me as your coach and you could ask me these specific questions and we kind of did a training on when to channel how to channel why why which which entities to channel all that so that if you want that you're gonna have to wait until we open the doors to alignment academy again to get in because we're not accepting any new members right now it's still going on but we're not accepting new members right now um but for the purpose of this video, I do want to give you guys some tools in case something like this happens. What happens is it, it really drains your, your human energy um, to let another energy into your body. Um, it's not necessarily the safest thing either. But in this case, it happened without her, um, you know, saying, hey, come on in, guys. <laughs> it happened instantly. And this happened to me twice in my, in my, in my mediumship life. And those of you guys that have trained with me know about it um 
and know what what to do after the fact but so basically what i told the scouts look you really really need to make sure you get grounded um by getting out laying flat on your back in your house um you know patting the bottoms of your feet uh taking like that sea salt bath or rubbing yourself with sea salt which is great to clear your other energies like your different levels of your aura um and get your feet out there by that tree get really really rooted right and then also um really eating that heavier foods just really get your your soul and your energy feel back anchored down into your meat suit right <clears throat> because when we're working with spirit and and for in her case when spirit came through her body to deliver some messages to her which was profound by the way um it kind of leaves you a little bit open and that was another part of her message she goes now i feel like something has opened within me and i feel like this isn't just the beginning and, and she's like now i've been on your website looking for like coaching help because this shit isn't this isn't the this isn't the end she's like this this i feel like something cracked open within me and that's exactly what happened because her ancestors came through her so they they weren't just some random dead person entering into her it was her ancestors that had a very profound message for her but what happens when things like this happen is she opened that portal she opened that she opened essentially she opened and now unless she completely shuts down unless she completely tells spirit hell to the no it's going to escalate because once these like triggers there's different triggers that we have that start our spiritual awakening and for her my friends this was hers and so we're probably going to work together in a coaching scenario because she more wants that one-on-one -on -one since it was so crazy but here's another crazy component this just blows my damn mind and i have a couple little examples of it so um the other part of her story is she said um that normally she wears the sapphire necklace um, that she is aware of spirituality and and she normally will wear some protective jewelry she said but her necklace went missing her necklace I'll repeat that again went missing and so she was getting ready to go on a trip and lo and behold there's her grandmother's necklace a necklace that her grandmother gave to her she didn't think anything of it put grandma's necklace on went on this journey sounded like she's gone for like a week or something during this journey is when all of this happened and she said that the necklace got really super hot and then her whole body got really super hot and then um, all of a sudden these messages were coming through and out of her mouth and she's like it's almost like my voice was different but but she's like I was talking but I don't really think it was me and then she got like I said profound information from her and from her husband's ancestors from both her grandma and her grandpa and so of course my other clue here people write it down you need to write down as many details as you can um, because when you're sitting down to head to journal more things are gonna open up and go oh my god and they said this and oh my gosh and it felt like this like you're reliving that experience and you're putting it into this third dimension on that piece of paper so it's really going to unlock some things within you so that you could really receive that message um, and really integrate it into your life so they right whoever whoever they were told her that they took her necklace i repeat they told her they took her necklace so that she would wear grandma's necklace so that she would um receive this information how amazing is spirit how amazing is spirit have any of you guys ever um had spirit hide something from you or do you think they hid something from you and now when you look back and you realize that they can actually manifest physically to manipulate your physical belongings for different reasons right sometimes it's a trickster thing um one of we were talking about um megan one of my girls um how the keys to her car got gone right they were nowhere and then she had somebody come over to rekey her car and then the whole garage door fell down so there's reason they do things on our behalf or to be funny right here's a one more instance of spirit like moving things are disappearing and we still have never solved this um 
But like when my grandma died, right? When somebody dies, it creates a portal too. When my grandma died, she had her dog. Any of you guys know her, right? Um, Maggie. And uh, like two days after my grandma died, Maggie was gone, never to be found again. Uh, there was no way at all that Maggie could have ran away or got out. There's just no way. She just disappeared. So we always to this day just be like, well, Maggie jumped through the portal after Irma died because they were obsessed with each other. I mean, and I do mean obsessed. Um, so isn't this amazing to, uh, isn't this amazing time to be consciously aware of your ability to work with and for spirit, right? Um, right. And then Krista saying, oh, I know they have, and it's usually to find something else. Exactly. It, everything is connected and they're going to do whatever they've got to do in order to get the message across. And this, let's bring this back into like third dimensional logic world, right? When we're talking about, like you guys know me, I'm already, like when we're talking about being scared of the future, or we're talking about being scared to take action or leave a job or all of these things that we're scared of, then step back and go, well, holy crap, I'm actually being guided. And if they can hide my necklace, if they can take my dog through a portal, if they can um, do all of those things, then can you not step forward more in faith because they have your back? Right? Can you not step forward more with faith because they have your back when you know that all of these other things are happening and you're scared to like live the life that you really want, right? Because you're scared of the unknown future. They got your back. You're not the only one living your life, right? Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. This is why I love what I do. This is why I'm a spiritual awakening, babe. This is why I love to come on here and help you guys grow through your spiritual awakening, you know? And things like this, this is why coaching is important because we could teach you guys all the things, but when it comes down to your unique experiences and your unique growth and your unique goals, that's why having somebody to like be the person on the other end, that's where the value comes in that, right? So I'm sending you guys all love. I hope you have a very happy holidays, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, all that stuff, um, or nothingness, like, um, or nothingness, basically like us. <laughs> We're like nothing. Um, so you guys have a beautiful holiday. I'll be back on um, Wednesday with another free training.